we want to see how to plot graph using this table of values we got from experiments on simple pendulum. Then afterwards, we want to see ways to find errors in the slope or intercepts in a graph. Yes, that is very important. Now, this is just a typical word, sketch. Just a sketch of how graph look like. But look at how standard graph is meant to look like. This is a standard graph sheet and it's measured in 2 cm. That is this big boss you are seeing is 2 cm. If you merge it, it becomes 4 cm. If you merge three of it, it becomes 6 cm. If you use only one, it becomes 2 cm. But if we are to use this graph sheet as it is on this board, you may not be able to see the spaces clearly. So we just have to use a sketch of the graph sheet so that we understand what we are doing very well. Now, to continue, first thing you have to do is write your date of the experiment. Date, write the date. After writing the date, say a graph of, write the title, a graph of L, attach the unit against T squared, attach the unit. They are very important. After writing your date and the title, next thing is label your Cartesian axis. Label your Cartesian axis. How do we do that? To label it, remember they say plot a graph of L against this square starting from origin and obtain the slope. Please, we have posted video on how to choose appropriate scale. I repeat, we have posted video on how to choose appropriate scale. Now, check our channel, just type Chidons Daniel how to choose appropriate scale during graph plotting. You see the video, then you watch it. Now, we will use the knowledge we've gotten from that video to sort this issue of number one, plot a graph of L against this square starting from origin and obtain the slope. Let's see how to do it. Starting from origin, we are plotting L against T square. First thing you ask yourself is, for this L, the lowest is 50. Is it zero? I mean, is, it, is 50 close to zero? No. That means, if you put zero here, if you put zero here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, look at here, 50 will be falling. And this 50, 50, 60, 70, 80, you now see that 100 will not enter. Yes, and here will be vacant because you don't make use of here. Your graph plotting will start from 50 onwards. So you now see it's a poor way of uh, plotting the graph. So what you will do is, since the lowest number is not close to zero, the lowest number here is not close to zero. Now, if I level my Cartesian axis to form around here, this is my y o. That's why I will call it L in C M. Please, this L in C M, that is what you level. Because what you are plotting is in C M. Don't write Y against X. Please don't do that. Just level it appropriately. This is L in C M. Then this is T square. I will say T square is centimeter square. So don't say Y against X. You have passed that level. Okay, now next thing to do is that instead of me writing 0, 0, if I write 0, 0, it will not be able to take care of these figures we have here because they are not close to zero. The lowest is not close to zero. What I will do is I will put this symbol, a zigzag, then put this symbol. That means I am obeying the rule of starting from the origin, but I didn't write it because the lowest number is not close to zero. That is what this symbol means. 
So what I will now do is that I will now put 50. Maybe I want to start from 50 here. Here I want to start from 2. Yes. Then this you know, is will I say 50, 55, 50, uh, 60, 61, or will I say 50, 60? How will I level the scale? To level the scale for the L, I will say the highest, which is 100 minus 50 all over how many buses do we have one two three four five six all over six that should be giving me 50 over six so 50 over six is 8.3 now this 8.3 will approximate it to nearest things how do we do that 8.3 is something as 0 8.3 Nearest ten means this is unit and this is tens. Nearest tens. Is this up to five? Call it one. Because it is up to five. Add it to this, it will become one. Then we have two digits before the decimal point. So we make here to be two digits before the decimal point. So this is approximately to be what? 10 centimeters. Then that means we are using it to nearest test so that you can easily locate these points we are seeing here. Then this one approximately, this is 0 0.3 if you approximate it. But if you are using 0 0.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.6, there are figures it will not be able to accommodate. We say let us approximate it to 0 0.4. So 0 0.4, that will give you that 2 plus 0 0.4, 2.4, 2.8, 3.8, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 
Now you say change in L and change in T squared. Please note that the values we are using or we are getting from this is a approximated value because we are using a sketch of the graph. Now this is 100. This is 100, 100 minus, then this is 50, this is 50, because this is the highest value, we call it our L2 minus the lowest value, 50. Then, that is for change in vertical on. Then for horizontal, where the vertical and horizontal meet, that will give you your, uh, your t squared 2. That is the highest t squared. So what is our highest t squared? Our highest t squared, this is 4.0. So we'll take here to be 4.1, approximately 4.1. We say here is 4.1 minus, then here our t square 1, that is a approximately 2.1 because here is 2.0, so it's approximately 2.1. So what we now do is, we now say this minus this slope, equals 100 minus 50, 50, all over this minus this, 2.0. Recall, highest 100, lowest 50, here about 4.1, and here about 2.1, that is 2.0, so approximately the nearest whole number is 2.1, or the nearest decimal is 2.1. So you now have 4.1 minus 2.1 equal to this. But when you use your graph sheet, I mean your standard graph sheet to plot it, you get the accurate value. This minus this value by this will be giving you 25 centimeter over second square. It's important to attach the unit of what you got. I got my own by saying 25. What is the vertical unit? Unit for the vertical is cm. Unit for horizontal second square. So that is your answer. Now, get your G from this. Recall we plotted G equals to, the experiment has a formula which goes this way, all over G. From here, we modify it to say that this means T square equal to 2 pi eta inside 4 pi square L over G. This is equivalent to this. Then we say that this means if we carry G up and carry T square down, we have G equal to 4 pi square L over T square. And L over T square is what we plotted. L over T square, that is what we plotted. So Whatever we get here will be called our slope. That means our g is 4 pi squared times slope. g equals to 4 pi squared times slope. Times slope. And what is our slope? Slope is 25. So we will press it inside our calculator. This will be giving you approximately 987 centimeter per second square. Recall, we use initially that we use initially G equal to 970 in the experiment. In the start of the experiment, we got G equal to 900. Recall that in the start of the experiment, recall that in the start of the experiment, we say let's take our G to be 970 centimeter per second square. Yes, but after solving or after doing the experiment, we have 987 centimeter per second square. The reason why we didn't get the exact value is because 
approximations are, or we are done in this experiment. But this answer we got, the question is, the need for in the range of value we noted. We say range of value is 954 to what? 1004, 1006 centimeter per second square. This, are, uh, this is the possible range of value. So now we have 87, still fall in, in the range of value. So we are saying correct. So we have seen how to get the slope and the value of G. Next is to get the error in the word slope. Error in the slope. Let's see how to get it. And we want to see how to get it in two different ways. Now, to get errors in this slope, we want to follow the first method and see how we can use the first method and get the error in this slope. That is the method of best fit and worst fit. Before we see how to make use of best fit and worst fit, it is important to note that the line of best fit is meant to pass through the mean of the vertical points plotted, the mean of the vertical points plotted, and the mean of the horizontal point plotted. See what I mean. For mean of L, L mean is equal to, add up the values of L, 100 plus 90 plus 80 plus 70 plus 60 plus 50 all over all over 6 100 plus 90 plus 80 plus 70 plus 60 plus 50 divided by 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 6 that will be giving us 75 equal to 75 now we have to get the mean of t square. Mean of t square is 4.08 plus 3.65 plus 3.24 plus 2.86 plus 2.43 plus 2.04 all over 6. T squared, the mean of T squared, everything divided by 6 is 3.05. So, the mean of the length is 75, the mean of T squared is 3.05. What you now do is locate 75, this is 75. Uh, 3.05, this is 8. So, look at here the mean. So look at here the mean. That means this point that fell off, what you do is that point, this point has to pass through that mean. That mean you have. You have to draw another line of best fit to pass through that mean. Okay? So, this second line of best fit, we call it worst fit. Then this one, we call it best fit. This is best fit. Then this is worst fit. We'll call this line of best fit. That is the first one we drew. We we'll call the second one line of worst fit. By taking... If it is only one point that fall up or fall out, you take that one point, look at the one point. You take that one point and make sure it pass through the what mean of the vertical and horizontal, their mean value. It will pass through it. So this line will pass through it. The way the other one, 
pass through it. That is very important because any line or regression line you draw should pass through the mean of vertical and horizontal. Then what you now do is that you get the slope of that line. Okay, so after putting the line of worst fit, then what you do, we will put our triangle. We'll put it. This is a triangle for line of worst fit, whereas the other one is line of best fit. What we now do is what is the highest value here? Approximately 100 minus what is the lowest value? That is 60. That will be giving you 100 minus slope equals to 100 minus 60 is 40. Then you come here. What is the highest here? This is change in T square. The highest is 4. 0 minus minus what is the lowest here this is 2.4 so here should be around 2.5 4 minus 2.5 so 40 over 4 minus 2.5 is 1.5 40 over 1.5 that should be giving us 26 Point seven approximately 26.7 this is the slope for worst what feet slope for line of worst feet wf means what feet now error in slope error in slope is equal to modulus of slope for best feet minus slope for worst feet Modulus means whenever you minus, if you give a negative, forget about negative. We have the normal slope, which is for the line of best fit to be 25. So error will be equal to 25 minus 26.7. Modulus of 8. 25 minus 26.7 will give you 1.7 minus 1.7. But modulus means forget about the minus. So 1.7 centimeter per second squared. That is the error in that slope. Error in the slope, error in the slope was going to be 1.7. You now see your slope is equal to 25. 0 0.00 plus or minus 1.7 bracket cm per second square. Now, to get the error of the slope, we have only one point that fall out. So, what we do is we take that one point and draw a parallel line, a line that will be parallel to the line of best fit. When we are done with the drawing, we take a vertical line. Look at a vertical line between that parallel line and line of best fit. We locate the highest point of that vertical line. You can take the vertical line at any point. You can take it here, you can take it any point. So look at here. Uh -huh. This is how to get your vertical scatter. You say error in the slope, error equals to 4 W all over N R. Where W is your vertical scatter, R is the range, that is the highest value minus the lowest value, which is R equals to 4.08 minus 2.04, that is 2.04. And how many points do we have? Six. W is equal to 90 minus 85. That should be 5. Therefore, error is 4 times W5 all over 6 times 2.04.
let's see what it gives us so 4 times 5 is 20 all of us 6 times 2.04 that should be giving you 1.63 1.63 1 1.63 centimeter per second squared so what we have is we package it this way slow equals to 25.00 plus or minus 1.63 centimeter per second square. This value is using this method that is error in the slope equals to 4 times vertical scatter all over nr.